Hi YouTube, Sabrina and Micah here, back with another Transformers video review. And this time, we're gonna take a look at... Wait, 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 wait. Haven't I already talked about this figure? Well, uh, you'd be surprised, but uh, this one is literally the APC Toys Red Gladiator. Also known as a fourth party version of first edition Prime Clip Jumper. So yeah, if you've seen my previous review of the AC figure, you know that there's another version, which is the APC one, and this one is literally the one that I am mostly anticipated about, and I finally have it in my collection. Either way, let's just move this guy out of the side, and let's take a look at the uh, very simple and very colorful looking box. With a nice artwork of uh, cl clip of uh, Red Gladiator, <coughs> sorry. With his very digital and kind of very nice 2D look of his actual Prime design, and of course here we have the uh, <laughs> text back which says "Transforming Fighter with two modes and full actions." It literally says actions. If you literally just uh, pull this one out, yeah. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Anyways, let's get on to the review. So here we have Red Gladiator. And yeah, he's a pretty much a direct copy of the official Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper. And uh, actually the more superior one. And before you pretty much say they're both the same, here we have the uh, AC one in comparison. And... Uh, Yes, we know, I accidentally broke the uh, ball joint because I want to see the limitations and uh, to be told, be careful when you move the head or else you will literally, well, break it. Because as you see here, well, it's literally made of clear plastic and it cracked. But it doesn't matter because I've already got to pretty much turn this one into a terracon later on, so... Uh, it doesn't really matter, but uh, as you can see, without the painting details, you know, without the uh, silver that I literally added and the red feet that I painted, all, all things aside, you can pretty much see that the overall red gladiator is superior to the AC one, given that the uh, face sculpt here has more of the personality trait than the blank zombie look that he has and of course on the chest you can literally see the red and silver paint apps that Red Gladiator has that the the AC one literally well does not really have and of course the plastic we have a literal transparent blue. We have dark blue and here we have smoky black and of course the legs this is literally pre-painted this is me painted it and of course, here we also have, uh, well, the smokestacks, or literally the sidecan of the uh, op mode. Noted that this one I literally painted. This is literally how it comes out of the box. Nice, shiny, chrome. And then we also have a nice detail of the headlights. And of course, the bumper, which this is literally painted chrome. This is not. And of course, the head scope. Well, literally the horn, nice silver paint apps, just shitty rubber. Okay, let's get you fucker out of the way because we're gonna take a look at the superior one that I will consider, consider literally to say that this is the most superb one yet. And as we take a look at the noggin, we can also see that uh, this figure has some nice light piping. And of course, if you see here, it has more literal detail that the other one. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, focus on me, motherfucker. Focus on me! Hold on. What if I do this? Okay, there we go. You can see at this detail that uh, unlike the uh, regular one that looks super fucking dead, this one actually has more brighter. Well, bright blue plastic that the other one literally lacks, considering it looks like a goddamn zombie 
Well, this cliff jump, well, this uh, red gladiator has more of a personality than the other one, and of course, the the overall light piping system is more well brighter, so the light shines very nicely upon his head, which I can say is a definite plus. But what is something also different is that the uh, while the red gladiator's regular hands, the other one, AC one, literally had a functionality which you can literally hinge the fingers. Which was a neat bonus that I would say this one actually has better than the red gladiator. But then again, I'm literally just gonna leave it as it is because uh, I don't pretty much care about hinged fingers of this one. But uh, for his Terracon, he should have it. But of course, uh, Here's something that I might also say is that the, well, maybe not on camera, but in personnel, they were literally on point. The detail looks, well, how do I say it? A bit different from one another. And of course, I forgot about the crush piece, which this is literally painted red. I literally had it on my own, but it was not painted. And of course, the headlights. Just clear plastic, blue. Oh well. But yeah, all that I had to say is that um, I do like how this one looks over this one. Although, I do like the AC one actually has some detail on the shoulders here that the other one lacks. And of course, if you see inside, well, both literally has that. Although, I would say this has more pristine lines than the other one, which is, well, almost non-existent. Which is a pretty shocking turn of event, considering the AC, AC, APC toys is literally more expensive, like 10 buck expensive than this one. And of course, the plastic quality feels the same. And of course, uh, everything of the functionality, which I will not bring up in this video, I already did in my previous review, is pretty much the same. So, uh, the overall joint articulation, you will find it in the description. But I, what I will do say is that, unlike the, uh, and of course the uh, stability, which, yes, it's still wobbly, but I think it's a little bit better than the previous one, since the previous one literally was a knockoff and wobbles around too much. And I think this is also an easy fix. But, here's something also that uh, this figure comes, because uh, unlike the AC one, which comes with base with free energy on, which is looking ba pretty basic, well, the original one, this one, comes with two customized and actual unique looking dark energy on shards, which are different size and different looking detailed clear plastic purple. And my goodness, is it looking so damn juicy. Which you can literally make him hold it, like an ice cream cone, or any whatever, or just, well, drumstick, or candy crystals. I don't know what I'm going with this. <coughs> anyway, the, and of course the functionality of the candy is also pretty insane, although uh, a bit more tight than usual, which of course, uh, he has his cannons, which is looking nice, but uh, yeah, for, which I forgot to mention, but uh, here's something that the APC toys literally comes with that the AC don't, is, well, the kids, yeah, this figure literally comes with the main cast from Transformers Prime, here we have Jack, who is literally, well, the toy boy, the tall boy, Literally a 16 old boy with, well, not that much detail on the face, but clearly this is literally from the first edition 2-pack uh, with Megatron and Optimus Prime. I don't mind, but it's indeed that I actually have uh, all the kids, especially having Raph, who is also very nicely detailed. Because I always wanted these casts, but never got the chance to have them. But I'm kind of glad that I have all of them. Well, except for Miko, who is looking, uh, she has seen better days. But to be frank, this is literally what I feel about Miko. 
And as you've seen before, you know that the, the size difference between the the cast is pretty much the same. If you want to see the size comparison from my that I literally had in my previous review, you can check out the previous review. But here, well, it's pretty much the same. What do you want? Oh yeah, on a side note, his instruction booklet li manual literally is... Uh, well, when I first saw it, I was a little bit confused why it literally started with alt mode to robot mode, but then I also figured out that uh, the uh, it also has a um, web version where you can literally transform it from uh, robot mode to alt mode. Which is pretty nice. Okay, scratch that. It doesn't have a clear plastic, but it almost has the illusion of clear plastic, which uh, is pretty neat. But I will still paint this nonetheless. And of course, be careful when you also bend these parts because they also clear plastic. So if it happens that it breaks, that's a bit unfortunate. But uh, you can always contact the Shoshi store for a replacement part if possible. And here we are in his old mode, which is not a Porsche. My mistake. Because in my previous review, I thought it looks like an actual like a Porsche. But in the retrospective, it's not literally a Porsche. But this version literally bears the similarity of a Dodge Challenger T slash A nineteen seventy version, which uh, on honestly it makes a lot of sense because this actually bears striking similarity with these with that car. And honestly, I quite date this car mode. And of course, uh, they add they also added the the, the overall uh, horn, which makes it look so damn western. And of course, as I stated before, the chrome smokestacks, which this makes this alt mode pop even more. And of course, I do love the overall uh, smoke, well, smoke gray uh, kind of uh, pl plastic over, over this figure, even though uh, I do have a little bit of fear about the uh, clear plastic chest because it is very prone to paint chipping, but if you're careful, you won't scratch the paint. But uh, I do wish that it was actually just a red plastic with painted mirrors because, well, what I mean, what do you see inside? Just, well, nothing. And plus the bottom it literally has this, uh, well, cable underneath. And of course they have visible head syndrome. But, uh, wait, hold up. Ah, here we go. And of course he rolls like usual. Here we have a next to Motor Master, which actually looks pretty damn sweet. And here we have him next to the AC version, which uh, you can tell a difference between these two. I mean, uh, I mean, one of them is literally like a toy attic, well, plastic looking car with some like blue with tinted windows, which has more of a see-through. Well, this one, well, it's still see-through, but it looks more pristine, and I do love the overall chrome attic aesthetic that he has. And of course, uh, as you can see, you can see the clear difference between the AC, APC and the AC. I mean, the AC literally has more toy attic style. This feels a little bit more like an actual car, if you know what I mean. And of course, the plastic, well, you can really see the difference between one, one of the other, which is a bit hard to say, but I do kind of love uh, that there's a clear difference. I mean... This literally is more, uh, well, just non-painted plastic with some uh, plastic here that has some really kind of different plastic kind of quality, a bit, bit uh, how do I say, um, you know, uh, paint difference, different shades of red, but uh, for here, which is all painted except for, I mean, Truth be told, this has a little bit more of the obvious of uh, what is literally, well, the different shades of red. But uh, I do kind of love uh, the overall painted nature of the overall feel of this figure. And of course the back section, which of course the tail lights here is more, uh, well, it's literally more clear than red plastic. Well, this is just, I just added it there, but before there was none, like really. There was nothing on the AC one, which makes this even more of a cheap one. But, uh, yeah. There we have the APC Toys uh, Grey Gladiator. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Before I forget. This shit. I feel like these humans are a little bit too big for this car. 
So that was APC Toys Red Gladiator, aka fourth party non cliff jumper. And honestly, this is superior to the AC toy nonetheless. But I will say, do keep in mind that there that this is literally a fourth party figure and uh, I do not recommend any well parents to buy this for their kids because it is mostly for 13 plus up and nothing less because this has literally lead paint and it can be cautious to uh, well smaller audience so I do not want to be responsible for anyone to buy this just because I say it's good it is good but only for those that are very keen and very well, knowledgeable and very aware of this stuff. But then again, there are some flaws that they do keep this figure back, which is, well, like always the wobbly heads, which uh, is a bit unfortunate. And of course, the clear plastic is a bit unfortunately as well, since uh, it do have a tent of breakage, which of course is a bit unfortunate. But if, do, if it does happen, you can always contact Soshi's store for a replacement part. Well, yes, it may take uh, some time, but uh, it is possible. Hi, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you like what you see, then please hit the like button. And if you want to share your opinion, then let me know in the comment section. And also share this video to everybody else. And if you really want to support the channel, then please hit the subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell button to get notified when my next video is going to be. If you want to support the channel even further, I have a Patreon. It's only one dollar. Now, that's enough for me. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, only time will tell what my next video is going to be. And until then, I'll see you all next time. Peace.